Here is our pepper soup spice. So, welcome back. Today is cooking series, so I'm trying to do like two intro for different spices video that I want to create today. Welcome back to the channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Ogon Service, a content creator based in Abuja. So, another spice I want to show you guys is pepper soup spice. Pepper soup spice, like peppery, spicy juicy sizzling pepper soup now this pepper soup spice that i want to show you you can also make it for new moms people that just put to bed and also if you want to make for your own family not necessarily new moms you can equally make use of the spice all the spices can be assessed or gotten from any local spice vendor or you can equally find them in the markets it depends on where you are so today is how to make your pepper soup spice if you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button remember to give this video a huge and massive thumbs up huge and massive in that way youtube will actually push out this video to so now different people have different spices that they add inside their pepper soup so i'm going to be showing you mine and you will know that mine is the easiest and um, the most flavorful first ingredient on our list is this ehuru okay so this is the the backed ehuru Okay, some people sell with the back, like sometimes you might see, hold on, let me show you the one that they haven't removed the back. This is how the one that they haven't removed the back looks like. So sometimes if you go to the market, you might get this like in a mood for this cheaper. But if you're buying this, this one is more expensive because they have done the hard job for you. So this is the one that they haven't removed the back. Look at how it looks. And this is the one that they have removed the back. So see the difference this one they have removed the back this they haven't removed the back so this is a guru that is the first ingredients on our list for our pepper soup i'll be setting that aside now we have ozis m ozis seed okay so the small small ones are ozis seed you can use this particular ozis seed for your egusi soup okay and this is Ozeza. They usually sell like um, 100, 100 naira. They will be tying it in a bag in the market. So if you want to cook pepper soup, show them this video and show them this one and tell them that this is the Ozeza seed that you want. So this is Ozeza seed. Okay. Now the next thing we have on our list is Oda. Let me put it here and show you guys. So this is Oda. This particular oda is very good for people that just gave birth. If you're cooking um, oda soup or pepper soup for a newborn, a new mom that just put to bed, make sure that you're adding this oda, okay? It's going to help flush out unwanted um, blood, okay, from that particular new mom. So this oda is very, very important when you're making your pepper soup and then pepper soup for new mom. Don't forget that. So this is our oda. It is very, very important. So I'll be setting that aside. Now, the next thing we have, I bought this, but I can't really remember the name. Please, if you know the name, let me know in the comment section. This, this, I don't know. I can't remember the name, but I was given in the market that this is very good for your pepper soup. You can equally use this for your um, banga stew. Yes. So this is very nice for your pepper soup and your banga. I can't remember the name. Once I find the name, I am going to put it um, on the screen. And then this is it. So this is a very important ingredient for your pepper soup. And we'll be setting that aside. Now, another thing that we have for our pepper soup is um, Oyeyak, Prekese or Adidam fruit. Different, different cultures have different names for this particular thing. Okay, so this is Oyeyak. This is Prekese, this is Adidam fruit. I don't know. So this is another important ingredient for your pepper soup. This, you can use it for your banga stew too. You can equally use it for your pepper soup. So they usually sell like three for 500 naira in the market. All you have to do is just to break it into pieces like this. You can't make a, a as in you can't make use of it as a whole like this. All you have to do is to break it like how I broke this one. And the good thing about this particular Prekese is that after using it you set it aside once it dries up you can use it for another cooking so this is our oyeyak and um, added down fruits very very important now this particular thing 
I think this is Pepe. I can't really remember the name. Um, what do I call this now? This one, I think this is a Negro, Negro Pepe. I can't remember, but this is Negro Pepe because this is the bigger part. I was confused on these two, okay? You can see that, look at this now. Can you tell me the difference between these two? The only difference is that the one on this hand looks bigger and this one looks smaller. So this is Oziza seed and this is Negro Pepe. Please, I stand to be corrected in the comment section. But these two, I use it for my pepper soup, okay? But I only make use of Oziza Oziza for my um for my egusi soup. So look at this. So this is Negro pepper and this is our Oziza seed. Okay? So look at it. That is another ingredient that we have. So for me, I don't do too much when I'm cooking my pepper soup so that you don't add too much spices and it will be very bitter. Another thing I was told in the market that you can make use of is this um this. I can't remember the name. I'll be putting the name on the screen. This particular seed you're seeing here, you can equally make use of this for your banga stew. I was given another ingredient for this particular thing, but I love to keep my pepper soup very, 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 very simple, okay? I was told to use this. I said no, that this thing is only for banga stew. So this is a rima also. I can't really remember, but this is a rima. I only make use of this for my banga stew i don't make use of this for my pepper soup so that i don't i don't go and add something that will make it bitter so this some people use this okay i'll be putting the name on the screen and some people use that one that i showed you so i think that is all for our pepper soup spice some people add dried ginger some people add lemongrass some people add cumin powder some people add fenugreek fenugreek powdered fenugreek whichever one you want to use that is totally fine so these are the ingredients that i'll be using for mine and i will take you through the process for which i make use of them now switch on your gas put your pan on fire and allow this to get hot okay once it gets hot We'll be moving over to the next ingredients. Today is actually blending day. So I have used this to blend other spices that I wanted. So if you're watching this video and you're looking for abacha spice, like the spice you can make use of for your abacha, I'll be linking it in the cart right now. You can click on it to get this particular abacha spice recipe that I have filmed. So I'll be letting this to get hot and we'll be right back. So, once your pan gets hot, make sure you're frying on a low heat. We'll be adding our ehuru. Our ehuru goes in. I'll be adding in our oziza. So, I want to blend a large quantity because I usually make pepper soup from time to time. So, once that goes in, I am going in with our negro pepper. All the fryables, just add them in. So I'll be going in with our Negro pepper, the big one that I showed you guys. So I'll be adding it in. Just go easy with the spices so that it is not too much, which will make it bitter. So I'll also be adding our Oda. Just be frying it for some time. So this is our Oda. Our Oda goes in. And then I'll be adding this Adidam fruit. Oyak. Oyak. <laughs> and that goes in so all you have to do right now is just to stir from time to time don't allow that to get so hot so stir from time to time that is what is going to happen stir on a very low heat though don't stir on a high heat stir on a very low heat five to ten minutes and this is done when you're frying this don't forget Flip from time to time. Flip from time to time. And when you're done, sometimes I will just make use of this. I'll be stirring it. Okay? You know, <laughs> African and Nigerian moms, we don't know that fire they burn. We'll use our hand and be doing some things. But fire they burn a bego. So just use spoon and stir. So you'll be leaving this to cool down for some time before we'll be going to the next order of this. So the next thing is for us to get your blender ready. I have actually made use of this blender to do some blendables now before I started filming. So there is no need for me to start washing it because it's 
same ehuru that i actually blended so get a blender and a dry meal if you have a dry meal a dry meal means that this particular blender dry meal can blend dry items which is like a goosey obono crayfish and the rest of them so and you can also blend them all these small small dry fish with your dry meal some blenders come with dry meal but if you don't have a dry meal in your blender all you have to do is to get a separate dry meal for your spices so that is it i have made use of this to dry to blend a hurun. so this is our blended spices i would have wanted this pepper soup spice to be plenty but my ingredients has actually run down so all you have to do is i will be removing this before mm, let me be showing you guys so before i usually blend this with a mortar i pound it but there is no need since i have a dry meal so let me just do everything but before that i am going to be removing this i was told that blending this or pounding this hold on this particular order it is going to make your pepper soup bitter so sometimes it depending as the spirit leads for me sometimes i will just pound just a little add it sometimes i will wash it this way and add it into my pepper soup so i'll be removing these two this blender and them um, oh yeah then i can blend the rest so all you have to do is to add this to your dry meal the ehuru the ozeza so just add it to your dry meal okay and then we'll be covering this if you want to add other things um let me just show you another thing for which you can add okay so i have this dry pepper this is dry chili pepper so i might just add a little just to give it that spicy feeling okay so just add a little of chili pepper so just add it inside let me just add more just more one chin wine like this hmm? so i'll be covering this so make sure you cover well so that it doesn't pour i'm always having a hard time <laughs> covering this particular dry meal so i'll be covering this and we'll be blending i think i've tried my best to close it i hope this stays so just put it to your blender okay and then hey wait you blend blend small small so I am done blending this, so all I have to do is to pour it, pour it out in a plate. Okay, so open up your dry meal. I don't know if you can see me. I think that's too, way too bright. So let me just pour it out and show you. So this is our pepper soup spice okay so make sure that you blend very well if you don't have a dry meal please there is no problem make use of your mortar because it's mortar this is my first time of actually using a blender a dry meal to blend this okay i usually use my mortar so use your mortar pound it very well so that it turns to pour that form i think i still need to blend this so that i won't be seeing all this eye that i'm seeing so just blend it and turn it to a powdered form here is our pepper soup spice I added it into this plate, okay? I don't know why no plenty, but here, oh, my kitchen smells so nice. The combination of this Ehuru, Oziza seed, um, Oda, no, there is no, I didn't blend Oda. Oziza seed, Negro pepper, and um, a little bit of dry pepper. So this is our pepper soup spice. Here, if you're making any um, pepper soup, whether it's um, chicken pepper soup, goat meat pepper soup, just go easy with the pepper soup spice so that you don't add too much and your meal becomes um, bitter. So just go easy with the pepper soup. Okay, so like this, your pepper soup is ready. All you have to do is just to add it in any container of choice label it and that is it for our pepper soup so what i usually do is that i usually pour in this kind of container so that whenever i want to have access to it it is easy for me so pour it in any container of choice and label it so that people will not go and carry it and think is um normal spices so like this our pepper soup spice is ready if you're watching this particular video 
and you haven't subscribed to my channel please as your subscribe to my channel or like or share this video if you have other things that you add in your pepper soup spice also drop in the comment section let's learn so some people usually add ginger to their pepper soup but me I wasn't thought to add ginger in my pepper soup, but I am willing to try to see how it goes. Hence, I was seeing people adding ginger, dry ginger. They will blend it with this. It gives it this um, zest feeling that you can't, resist, you can't resist. So that is it for our pepper soup spice. So like this, your pepper soup spice is ready. So please, oh, if you are sending me your list for food stuff in case i didn't introduce myself well please i can send food stuff to you to any country of choice so whenever you're sending your list just tell me to add pepper soup spice for you i will blend it and add for you okay uh -huh. so like this we are done with our video and i'll see you guys in my next one